Welcome back to Crafty Coaster. Today, it's time for a road trip. Where to, you ask? Broken Bow, Oklahoma, and home of Beaver's Bread and Brewing and Sasquatch. So come on, let's go. All right, guys, as we always do, we stop in, we get a, if we get a chance, we talk to owners, managers, head bartenders, whoever's willing to talk about the beer. And today, over here at Beaver Bend, we got a chance to talk to Chandler. So I'm going to give him a chance to introduce himself. Chandler? Chandler, I'm uh, 24 years old. I'm born and raised here in Broken Bow, and then uh, my mom actually is part of the winery down there. Like right down the road. The girls go. Uh, girls, girls, girls gone, gone wine. Yeah. So that's how I kind of got introduced into all this, and then I actually bought in while I was still in college, and it's been living the dream ever since. Living the dream ever oh, since. Yeah. And 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 that's we find that a lot in the brewery industry that people just they're in it already, be it uh, chemistry or yep. something bartending, yep. and they just fall in love with oh, yeah. craft brewing. I mean, it's a different type of atmosphere it versus just bars. Oh, yeah. So, so tell me a little bit about your beer. Like, what was the first one and most popular? Uh, Blonde and Bigfoot were the, the first ones that uh, Brad actually kind of came up with, and then Bigfoot's really popular just because it's Bigfoot. Bigfoot or you, know, <laughs> you know, obviously. Uh, but the Blonde is kind of our our go-to seller because it's. I mean, around here, it's the closest thing you would get to, like, a Michelob or, you know, something that's domestic like that. Correct. And so people are like, oh, well, that's what I want, just because that's what they're used to. Because it's yeah. light. Yeah, it's light. It's a very light, crisp beer that's easy to drink, and that's, that's what people go for most of the time. You know? and, and, and as where that's a good starter beer, Right. we're noticing over time as people get into it, like me, I started out doing... <laughs> With ale, light ales yep. and lagers and yep. pills, and now I'm getting into the browns and exactly. some of the happenings and IPAs, and, and, yeah. and, and, and it happens. I mean, does, over time, it does. It does. It's a learning curve. Yeah, sure. because now you're you're getting your taste buds woke up, exactly. and you're getting to actually taste beer for the first yeah. time. Our uh, our red so, slew is probably my my favorite, my go-to, and it's a it's a darker. It's it's it's, it's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Oh, yeah. So, I hear you did something else about three months ago with your wienery. Oh, yeah. 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 Tell us a little bit about your wienery. So, we opened a, a, a food truck pretty much just to, it was really our whole goal for it was just to get people to stay longer because people would come up here, have a beer, and they'd be like, well, I'm going to go eat. So, they'd go eat somewhere. Well, we are offering something for them to get, even if it's just a hot dog or some nachos or something like that. They're still going to sit here and stay around longer. And have a chance to drink a little more beer. Exactly. And I noticed that some of them are pretty uh, high-end dogs. They are. They are. Another partner of ours, he actually, he works for PFG Food Groups, or he did. And uh, he has all these connections with all these different food people and stuff like that. So he he knows his stuff when it comes to to good food. He can can get us some high-quality stuff. Good, good, good. I didn't get a chance to taste any of those. I uh, snuck off to a place across the street and had pizza yeah. well that's not bad either <laughs> no it isn't and it's only because i'm a deadhead and oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they do have good food they over do, there and i noticed here in uh like the broken bow area oh, yeah. it's it's very friendly it everybody's is. just yes. happy to tell you what's going on yeah. how to get places tourism drives the town so yeah and it's a cute little it town it's awesome. so 
I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do a quick review. Okay. And you're welcome to sit around and if you want. All right. I would like to taste your beer. Right, you go for it. All right. So, the blonde. This was the first one. And it is supposed to be a refreshing beer, which it looks refreshing. And it's a nice little, no skunky. It smells good. You can definitely taste the hops. It's kind of got a citrus, almost pineapple taste. No wonder people drink this a lot. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, and Chandler's over here worrying that I'm going to say something bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry. Which one's this over here? Bigfoot. This is the Bigfoot. This is their yeah. second most popular. or And this is a brown. Yes. I think this is the first brown I've had on this channel. Is it? I think so. We've been doing a lot of porters and stouts, but this is the first brown. And as expected, not much smell in a brown, and that's okay, because that's what I hear is normal. Yeah. Definitely got a little bit of a fruity taste, and dries out the tongue a little bit. It's like a lager with an attitude, yeah. and it's pretty good. And what's the IP, uh, the... The alcohol on this one. Five point two. Five two. That's not bad. No. So we've got a what's this one over here? That'd be later dude IPA. This is an IPA, and you guys know when all this started, I wasn't an IPA guy, and I'm getting there. Yeah. That last double IPA I had was pretty good. Yeah. And that's going to be a very mild IPA. Very mild, not hop forward. No, not really. So. It smells like a good standard IPA. I don't smell a lot of juicy, but it smells good. Good, standard, clean. Nice IPA. Later Dude IPA. I like it. Warrior Hops. That's that's our our brewer. That's like his go-to. Well, it's good. Only a 5.5... Alcohol content, that's not bad. That's pretty good. I'd go for that. Now the one that's a chili beer. Well, a hoppin' jalapeno <laughs> ale. Interesting. So what inspired this one? Well, I, I see, like, the green chili beers, stuff like that all over. And uh, I think Brad was just kind of, he's a very creative mind. I want to just try something new, something different. So we cut up a bunch of jalapenos and put it in the mix. Yep. <laughs> so is it selling pretty good? It is. It sells really good. Like I mean, it's like either you know you like it or you don't like it. It's, yeah. It's kind of a here or there, but as a specialty beer, kind of like right. uh, sours and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And that's how it's gonna be. Yeah. We sell a lot of it in bottles to go, just because people are like, oh, you have to try this. You yeah. Might not like it, but you have to try it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well. You can smell the jalapeno. It's not major, but it's in there. And, well, we're going to give her a shot. It's got a little spice. Yes, a little bit. The hops are definitely there. It doesn't overpower the hops. That is a fine beer. That's pretty good. I'm not... I've had a couple... Well, you saw the last one. That was a red chili. Oh, my God, that hit. Yeah. <laughs> this doesn't do that. It's just got a light bit of burn on the back of the tongue. We, uh, That's pretty good. We de-seed it and de-stem it ourselves. So we cut them all individually, scoop out all the seeds, and then throw it in the... Very cool. So, so I have a question for okay. you. How many people do you have during your busy season run through this place? Because it is quiet right now, but I hear this place turns into it, a madhouse. It gets crazy. It does. And our inside, like where our bar area is, it's very small. Yes. It's very congested when you're in there, but we just opened a new outdoor bar over here, which is helping a lot with foot traffic. 
And I noticed you got a multi-level patio. We do, yeah. Yeah, the, the view from upstairs is pretty, pretty awesome. And we're going to take a look at that. Absolutely. And it is a beautiful sight coming up these stairs that lead from Girls Gone Wine, yep. Yep. which is a winery that if I ever get back over here, we're going to take a look at. Oh, yeah. I know we do beer and coffee here, but that's a pretty cool little place. It is. Um, but it leads from there, which is street level, all the way up the side of the hill, and there's little standing areas mm -hmm. that I'm sure you can have a beer down yep. there and check yep. out what's going on. Absolutely. So, of course, I'm going to finish these beers. You know how that goes. And uh, I'm going to take a look around. I would like to thank Chandler for letting Appreciate us come by. Thanks for letting me come out here. No problem. Thank you. And we wish you all the best. Look sure. forward to, a, to seeing you again on Crafty Coaster. How you doing? Doing well. How you doing, sir? Great. Tell me your name, sir. My name is Branson Morgan. Branson, I'm Kevin. How are you today? Doing what do well. we got here? Uh, well, right now I'm here at the Wienery outside of Beaver's Bend Brewery, and essentially I'm making hot dogs. Cool. What kind of hot dogs are you making today? Well, right now, I'm, right now I'm doing a hot dog called the Woody, and essentially what it is is it's going to have our beef frank. It's excellent. Our buns are uh, a Hawaiian uh, roll-style bun. Uh, it gets bacon bits, an in-house made cheese sauce, crispy onions, and then it gets a barbecue drizzle on top. It's excellent. Oh my god, I can't wait. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And we look forward to it. We're going to give it a little review out here. And how often are you here out at the Beaver Bend Brewery? I'm going to be out here all week, but the winery, it's open uh, Friday through Sunday. So. Cool. There you go. And they can, and they're out here drinking beer. They can come over and get a wiener from exactly you, right? Exactly, sir. And from what your sign says, Mama needs a wiener. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So as you can see, we were invited over to the wienery. And you see they have a sense of humor by some of the signs. Well, their hot dogs are no different. I got a Woody. <laughs> and it looks amazing. It has a Hawaiian roll. It has crisp bacon bits, their signature cheese sauce, and barbecue sauce. And as you can see, this bad boy is a mess. So we know it's gonna be good because it's all over a beef hot dog. So let's give her a shot, guys. That thing's huge. Here we go, I hope I got napkins. Holy That's good. That's a sweet barbecue sauce on there. I don't know what's in the cheese spot sauce, but it's good. It's a heart attack on a bun, but it's worth it. And man, it is good stuff. And it matches up with the beers that are right here, right next door. Guys, if you're ever in the Broken Bow, Oklahoma area, you have to stop into this place. There's another brewery. I wish I'd have had time to sit down and go with them, but I only had a chance to do one. Come on down, check them out, and don't forget to stop at Beaver's Bend Brewing. Till next time, guys. Cheers. <laughs>